So Crypto Messiah was one of the first people to buy into Shiba Inu coin. He has made over $60 million from Shiba Inu and later gained a large following on Twitter. So I decided to speak to him and ask him what he is doing with his money, what his price prediction for Shiba Inu will be, and where he thinks the crypto market is going in general. So today we have Crypto Messiah back on the channel again. How are you doing, man? Um, I'm pretty good, pretty good. Observing the market every day doing my homework so last time i spoke with you uh <laughs> you revealed the tens of millions of dollars that you made from shiba have you decided to do anything with that money or what what are you putting your money in these days in the actual world things well i'm like getting in like auction license uh purchasing cars real estate uh setting up airbnbs I mean, it's pretty endless. It's pretty endless. And um, I'm also looking like I'm more into staking now. Staking? Like uh, stable coins or blue chip cryptocurrencies? Well, um, ever since I found out about PancakeSwap, they have uh, these pools and farms on there. And I saw they had um, that currently, like currently now, and it's called the Surd Pools on um, PancakeSwap. The APY is like around it's 80 percent 80 no 88 around 90 percent apy so yeah. let's just say you got a, a 100 grand in uh crypto and you uh stake it as as cake you would basically be getting uh what nine grand a month or so something like that no that range and that's what that's some good numbers yeah for a lot of people that have already made it in crypto like they've made their bag staking is like a real no-brainer because it, it's very very low risk and um the money is tremendous when you can scale it up when you already have a lot of money what what about the meme coin market in general like what do you think is going to happen right now uh we've seen you know a recovery from the terrible market conditions we had about two months ago now we see a lot of these meme coins and a lot of the micro caps kind of trading sideways still i mean what do you think is going to happen a breakout is going to happen and it's it's imminent because it's been plenty times when we thought uh, a coin wasn't going to do something next thing you know it it, it moons so it's it's plenty of stories like that of, uh, i sold too early diamond hands always win uh, i'm not selling <laughs> Uh, I follow people like uh, Justin Sun because um, I've been uh, active on social media uh, when he made his quarter billion move. And I think I talked about that last time on the interview. Uh, when he made that move around uh, when Bitcoin was like 28 grand and he uh, spent like a quarter billion on those positions there. And I, I followed that, what he did. I made a lot of money just yeah. following him yeah yeah you want to swim of the whales right we you know we've seen shiba inu have a flat line uh multiple times and a lot of people that you know are coming into shiba inu recently may not realize that but can you tell um the audience what it was like with the shiba inu graph in the early days like what was the chart looking like back then it was like a good example it was like one hundred dollars could turn to three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars per day like those that's how the gains were i, th I think yeah a thousand x from where no it was over a thousand x from where i got it from it must have been the like, way the chart when was, the market cap was like a million dollars or something it's more than a, oh yeah it was x. it was yeah it was in the thousands yeah the, with, the thing is is that um you know like the chart is trading sideways right now, and a lot of people that are new to Shiba Inu are concerned that it's not going up right now. Uh, do you think uh, their concerns are right, or do you think Shiba Inu is is on the decline? No, it's, uh, it's not on the decline. See, it's different kinds. See, you got traders out here, and then you have investors. And the normal person would be panicking but you know how they say uh, investors normally uh, they buy in at the bottom. You know, it's no matter how it looks, it's always going to be uh, a buying opportunity for somebody else because times like these, it's like it's like the weaker hands uh, giving it to the stronger hands. Eventually, it's going to thin out. 
and the bull's gonna come and then FOMO. Yeah. You know? uh, <laughs> dude, uh, there's so many times where meme coins trade sideways and look boring for long periods of time. In fact, Shiba Inu went through that, what, four or five times uh, until now. So, you know, the yes. fact we're trading sideways now, I keep telling people that's a bullish sign for a meme coin yeah. if, it, if it's trading sideways. If it's trading sideways, it has value. Where do you think the ultimate market cap of Shiba Inu is going to go to? Let, let's get let's get it out there. Two two Shiba Inu OGs, two Shiba Inu whales. Where do you think the end goal of Shiba Inu is going to go to? What market cap do you think it will hit? Well, at the high point, it was around uh, what twenty billion, yeah. around fourteen billion, a little under that. So, um. I, 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 eighty billion. Oh, 80, I'm oh, going. Shit. I'm going eighty billion. I'm going eighty billion. Um, just off the fact, uh, Cardano is doing so well. So, um, a million dollar Bitcoin is not out the question either. It's like, uh, oh, you think a million dollar Bitcoin is gonna happen yeah, think, this bull run? No, not this bull run, but maybe. Uh, within the next seven years, being modest, we can't see the we can't see those numbers because you know inflation, uh, the weakening dollar. You know, it's, it's up for debate. What about this bull run? Where do you think Bitcoin is going to go to? I got my eyes on ninety thousand dollar Bitcoin. You don't think it's going to break the hundred k mark? You think there's too much resistance? Uh, it'll it'll be next year. It'll, be, it'll, it'll probably it'll have to be next year. I'm still bullish. I'm still bullish. I hope it hits a uh, hundred, but mm, but then again, it it might keep going because people might not be so quick to sell it. Yeah, it, it can hit a hundred. It can hit a hundred. I wouldn't be so because me as a you know a big investor, I wouldn't. Uh, I see a hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin, nine thousand dollar Bitcoin. I wouldn't be so quick to sell that. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, Shiba Inu? This bull run. Where do you think it's gonna go? Well, for it to break out, thirty mm, x is possible. Thirty x is possible. A modest thirty x is possible because I really think the FOMO is gonna be insane. Those gas fees, they are gonna be still expensive. I agree. I, I think um, you know people people laugh at me, but I think uh, Shiba Inu has at least got a ten x in it from now even a 30x is what you're predicting and um yeah it's just uh a lot of people don't believe it oh, i believe because i remember the first shiva inu deal the very first shiva inu deal people thought it was dead the volume uh was like in the five digits yeah. uh, i was in the telegram then it was everybody was panicking it was like is this it and that was the very first deal yeah, it's always the case man like it, all these meme coins were pronounced dead so many times and they just kept coming back like the undertaker i really uh i really believe in uh shiba inu i think they can be used for payments now if i'm yeah. not mistaken uh some merchants have incorporated shiba inu and um shiba swap of course came out um not too long ago i'm, I'm very bullish on uh, coins that can be used as payments no matter what it looks like they're very, very bullish with established connections um, I'm very bullish on that. Speaking about things we're bullish on, what do you think about the NFT market recently? I, I know that you wanted to speak about NFTs and you've been dealing, dipping your toe in that. What have you got to say oh, yeah. about NFTs? You know, NFTs, this, I think NFTs is going to be like, it, it's the next big thing. NFTs are the next big thing. And I've seen my worth of uh, what I'm worth on NFTs is is, is is pretty insane, but I'm very bullish on NFTs. It's kind of like uh, yeah, come on, man, you like a flex. shopping habit. How, how much? How much do you own in NFTs right now? Like oh, how much I own? Yeah, yeah. Like around hmm, like five mil. That's so but, you know. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I'm um hiding uh, I'm hiding a uh, pudgy penguin. Pudgy penguin. I'm hiding yeah, one yeah. of those. That, yeah, and, that uh, leads me on board, to like, those board apes. Board apes, you own board apes. I'm hiding them. Hiding them. <laughs> <laughs> 
so uh i'm taking it but you're buying these trying to flip them uh what's been your experience of that because I, I know it's it, it, there's some crossover with crypto but it's obviously yeah. a different thing w what's been your experience with trading nfts well me i'm i'm more of a collector i don't want to i'm cool with just holding on to mine uh unless something drastic happens but i don't i've already seen like 100 x's and nfts and it, it's insane wow. it's insane like um I had to get uh, used to the terminology of NFTs or like the floor price and you know, but once you get around the terminology, uh, NFTs are up next. They are hot. I, I really don't know much about NFTs. I'll, I'll hold my hand up, but you know, I think for a lot of people, they perceive NFTs as a rich man's game. Like you have to have a lot of money to even get involved in collecting and trading and flipping nfts is there any truth to that um uh, well some of the uh the hottest nfts i mean no uh, they didn't they started off on uh, it wasn't all that expensive maybe they started off maybe 200 bucks and next thing you know they worth um half a million dollars i mean it's everything because uh the nft market you never know um how hot something can get it seems like the hot things are the stupid NFTs. Like we've seen Ether Rock. I'm sure yeah. everybody's heard about Ether yeah. up to this point. But it do it does seem like the stupider an NFT, the more it becomes valuable. As crazy as that sounds. I, I actually got a crazy idea I can share with you later. <laughs> it's it's so crazy it can work. I'm, I'm still kind of new with NFTs too. Like I'm just like I'm raising my hand, but you know, I see uh, millionaires buying it. Uh, I get a couple of them too, so, just in case. Yeah, mainstream celebrities too, and you know, when they yeah. get involved in things, you know, they bring a whole big crowd of people into it as well. I really uh, started looking more in NFTs when uh, I saw Mark Cuban. Um, tweeting about NFTs, that's what uh, made me pick up on it. And then I think I saw uh, Dez Bryant and Von Miller, uh, and they were in uh, NFTs. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. It might be uh, kind of new, but I guess I'm just following it in the footsteps on who I see, who I think uh, successful with the NFTs, kind of like I did with uh, cryptocurrency. Kind of just wiggled my way, and not everything worked, but the stuff that did, it, it worked well. The upside was greater than the uh, losses. Yes. So, for people watching, you know, if they had to make a choice between getting involved in buying and selling NFTs or getting involved in trading micro caps, as we've discussed before. Uh, what do you think is like the easier path to go down in terms of someone that just wants to make a bit of money? When it comes down to them uh, making money and that's all they want, uh, first, you got to minimize your risk. The best minimized risk out there is uh, buying the dip. That's the hottest uh, thing to take because, uh, you know, everybody is, uh, I want to say, I want to say everybody's at risk. Or everybody doesn't have like a lot of money they could lose some people are actually tight on money if i was a person tight on cash i was just uh to get in i would, I would buy the deal so i know i have a lesser chance of losing money yeah so you don't really think that there's one easier path to go down it's both just about you know having the right strategy well it's 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 strategy and it's gambling so it's it's really no no set path, no correct way to do it because you could not know what you're doing and still hit a hundred x. So it's like it's a uh, strategy and look. You, uh, you, it's definitely a chance you can lose money. Uh, nothing, nothing is a hundred percent guaranteed. The upside, like you said, it is tremendous. Yeah, yeah, and it, it's worth saying to people to buy the dip. I mean, so many people yeah. just 
get this wrong like they see a graph going up and they see the price and they want to join in they get emotional and on the other hand yeah. they see the graph going down and those red candles come up and they get emotional and want to sell when in actuality it's the opposite of what you should do it's just yeah. it's not intuitive like that i've made more money buying red than green i bought green and got red plenty of times and i know multiple uh elite people in the crypto space they can say the same thing uh buy in at the top and next thing you know you know lost 30 percent of your portfolio for me um i buy things that look boring or things people dislike yeah i don't i don't buy things that are that are hot at the moment you know and you are uh, back to uh, things i'm uh, invested in uh like the boring stuff so to say uh, I'm heavily invested in uh, Pancake Swap, and heavily invested in uh, Luna Ooh. and uh, uh, CKB Nervous Network. Heavily invested in those. CKB is Nervous Network. They uh, they partnered with Cardano, and it was uh, it was pretty big. It was it was some pretty big news. I really and I've been following the chart. Um, it's man that. CKB is going to be one of those ones people are going to say, wow, I, I can't believe I missed out on this. <laughs> yeah. I have reliable sources and it's a lot. It's, you don't know anything about crypto uh, and you tight on cash. Look into Nervous Network. Not financial advice though. Yeah, not financial advice, <laughs> but if you like pretty pictures. What what's like in terms of your portfolio and investments? Where's the majority of it at the moment? Is it a given coin? Like, is it just staking? Well, it's partially in staking, and I'm invested in the coins that people are sleeping on. Like, uh, I started invested in uh, fundamental coins like like Dash and Zcash. And Bitcoin Cash heavily invested in those too. Interesting. So that's that's where a majority of my portfolio is. And so, I so, stay... you, so you like the uh, the the small payment coins that, and you think they're undervalued right now? Very undervalued because whales tell me uh, online banking or uh, digital banking, or cryptocurrency banking, that would be the next big thing. So whenever it does go mainstream, yeah. You know, the funny thing is, is that that was the initial um, use case for Bitcoin to be that coffee and donut scenario where you go into a like a, a place, you buy some coffee with your Bitcoin, you scan something. But, you know, because of the processing times, it, it didn't really turn out to be that way. Now we have Bitcoin as a long term store of value. You know, the market is open for like a micro transaction cryptocurrency like that. And you think uh, Zcash, Bitcoin Cash, they have the potential to be that? I do. Uh, especially off the fact they're uh, more energy efficient, especially uh, Bitcoin Cash. And I predict in the future we will have a lot of Bitcoin uh, ATMs. Because I stay uh, in the Dallas area and they already have Bitcoin ATMs here. So eventually it, it will pick up i'm just going off what i see and in intuition and I, I really see bitcoin cash going somewhere highly slept on there's such a open space for a micro transaction cryptocurrency like that it's going to be interesting to see next bull run if this really comes into fruition if this really becomes a thing that we see in our day-to-day -day life like you're saying already you're seeing bitcoin atms in in your area and i'm just starting to see more and more of this because uh, where i grew up they still don't have any of this so i'm just uh i'm picking on the, what i'm seeing and i really do think it's, it's going to go somewhere since it's already here in a, like a main city what about uh shiba in you are you do you have any Shiba Inu? Do you still have a moon bag? Oh yeah, I still have a moon bag. I, I'm, I still buy on mostly, most dips of Shiba Inu. I still believe in Shiba Inu. Most people are going to realize that they shouldn't have sold so early. And that's, uh, uh, and that's coming from a guy that was in it basically 
half a year ago, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So still buy Shiba Inu. There you go. That's uh, that's pretty bullish. Is oh. there anything else you want to say before we take off? Oh, uh, be beware of scams. Always do your own research. Uh, never jump the gun. Take your time. If you can do that and be patient, uh, you can you can do good with crypto. All right, everybody, drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.